up everybody it's the common sense investor coming at you with another video and just real quick while there's nobody here let me jump over here and do the youtube thing and facebook thing and do it real quick before we get the morning show gotta wait for a few of y'all to come in because i want to hear a few of y'all's comments and i got a special shout out to my friend the pantheon and that's how I say it now, Pantheon. Pantheon. All right. Who we got in here right now? We got one person. That's it. In one minute, we got one person in one minute. Some bitches, when I hit that notification, it ought to go, 2,000 people show up. That's how popular I am. I'm just kidding. Love all y'all. We're gonna I'm gonna be sharing my screen in a few minutes. Uh y'all gonna love what I'm gonna show you. Uh let's see. Can I reveal it? Yeah, I guess so. I'll give you a preview of what the show's gonna be about. We'll start with this one. This is cool. The Pantheon is, ha is having a live stream since about 11. Uh, somebody just mentioned my name and Boss Blunt's name. I don't know what they're talking about, okay? But that's where I just was. Man, listen to me. When I was growing up, my dad would turn on the radio in the car. And there was always this guy. Talking about UFOs and Bigfoot and all this other shit. But he had such a smoothing voice. Man, you would be drawn into the story of how they had cornered Bigfoot. And this is going to be it. Y'all remember the damn channel. I know you do. Well, Pantheon is like that. He has that smoothing voice. And the way he talks, he is so intelligent. He breaks everything down so simple. And then he'll call your ass out. Like he called me out tonight. He, bitch, bring the receipts or shut up, he says. And I'm like, oh well, okay. <laughs> but he is one hell of a friend. And his show is amazing. I had to get up and start doing certain things before my show. And I just turned it on, but it's a radio show. And it was playing in the background, and I'm listening to what he's saying. Just like it's radio, people. Just like it's radio. Anyway, that's where I've been for the last three hours is with over on Pantheon. Okay. Now, also, I had the, oh, the wrong chart. Let me get off that. Y'all always see that. All right, I've looked at the comparison chart and I'm seeing what's going on here with every one of these Prague, Sundial, GME, AMC. Right now, Sundial has taken the lead. It is off and running. Now, the way this works is if you can see how they all are tight, but it, Sundial took a little bit lead there and now it's gone. Where these are tight, these want to pull up and meet with Sundial. So that's going to be, they're trying to get up there where Sundial's at. The computer's pulling it up there. So I'm going to talk about that. Then, we also have winners of the contest, like I shared with y'all. $30 package, there was supposed to be three winners, but I, I was up that night. So I gave three, uh, two, three winners. So that's one, two, three, four packages, four $30 packages free for them to join the Wolf Pack. And here they are, Julie, the Dopeman, Pokey, Brenda, Brandon, Jimmy, I was probably high and missed number six, Fonda, Tail Dog, Mike, and Raymond. Y'all all won the Wolf package. And we'll be talking about that because I've been trying to get in touch with Cam 
and I can't get in touch with Cam to get how to pay him so y'all can get y'all's membership started. So I'm going to talk about that. And over here, let's see. This is the Weeble chart because I like Weeble because of the pre marker. Oh, shit. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> Don't you like that? It settled at uh, 1944 at the right now. It just jumped. Yeah, it just it just did that to 2022. It just went boop boop. <laughs> A little heartbeat there. Oh shit. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got here. All right, that's the town hall meeting. That's this is the town hall to see it and the breakdown of what we're gonna be doing, who's talking and 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 on who's gonna be the next speak. So we'll be talking about other than that. What is everybody doing? I hope y'all had some sundial. I did. I said I had enough, and I went and bought as much sundial as I could. Products, not stock. Good morning, Brandon, Queen, Queen of Swords. Oh, my God, I thought you were saying something about your panties. What's up, Joseph? Nice to see y'all, Mike. Country Pride, it's always a joy to have you around. I just did, Joseph. I just left the Pantheon. Man, I just sit back. I ain't gonna lie, I'm telling you right now, Joseph. Blaze one up, kick my feet back, and I'm listening to the Pantheon like it's a radio station. And man, he gives such good fucking information. And he's a hell of a fucking guy. He reminds me, as I said in the beginning, he reminds me of when I was younger, the guy that used to talk about the UFOs and stuff. You could just sit back and listen to that smoothing voice late at night. He's got that late at night voice. So I've been high for fucking the last three hours waiting on y'all. Shh. Don't. Don't call that monster, Joseph. I don't know where that son of a bitch is hiding. Oh, how many people think the squeeze started? Good morning. Good morning, good old boys. That's awesome if he does it at 10 p.m. every night. Art Bell, that was that man's name. Damn straight it was Art Bell. You know that smooth voice that Art Bell used to have? That's who Pantheon reminds me of. That's why I love, I just turn it on and fucking kick back, man. What you talking about, Pantheon? <laughs> We chasing Bigfoot tonight? Because if we are, I got a lead. I think Lou's a Bigfoot. That's why he wants to go chase them down so bad. That's why he always talks about, you know, going and look for Bigfoot. That motherfucker has a 16, size 16 shoe. Bitch, you a Bigfoot. And I'm betting you was abandoned by your fucking parents. In, some, in civilization, and they went back to the fucking woods. And you've been looking for them ever since. You're trying to get all of us back here. But we'll help you find your parents, man. Just be cool. Let the squeeze get over with. We'll, uh, we'll go find Bigfoot for you, help you find your parents. Three squeezy. 
oh, let me see. Let me let me think before it starts getting too fast. There you go, Brian. This is the pre-squeezy. They haven't blinked yet. That's right. They haven't even blinked yet. It's not, it's not even started yet. This is the pre-squeezy. I like that. Should I put that in the title? The pre-squeezy show? <laughs> 42420. <laughs> Much as I like 420, you might have to add another zero. 4,200. Pre-squeezy. The pre-squeezy show. Fifty-eight. Ah, oh, what was mine at? I got some at fifty-three. That averaged me down to an average of fifty-six. How are you supposed to see that? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do that. That motherfucker's laid out on the couch. Leave him where he's at. When he's awake, he costs me money. Thinking about getting rid of him. Thinking of the money I could save. I wouldn't have to buy dog food. Extreme games, it's possible. Possible, but not likely. I'm thinking if it falls, it could fall to 18. I know his predictive models. I like extreme games. Don't get me wrong. He also should have a bullish one, too. That's, that's his bearish one. What's his bullish one? I forgot to get the options this week. And wouldn't you know that'd be the week, week these motherfuckers run up? What y'all expect tomorrow? Oh, I don't doubt Chuck. That's why I watch Chuck. I spend about 20 minutes a day. I'll go in the mornings and watch a few minutes of Chuck to see what he's talking about. And then I can rest for the rest of the day because Chuck's usually right. I would hope he's bullish. I would hope he's bullish. Hold on a second. I'll share my screen. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I hope he has one that looks something like that. Because this is, this is from January. This gold one. It's from last January when it run up. And this is the same pattern that it's running now. All right. It's ran this same pattern. And it's fixing to go. But it will have a pullback. It's going to run up. But it's going to have a pullback. Now, how far the pullback will go, I don't know. I'm thinking there's a support line here at 1875. So if it pulls back, like this pattern shows, then it should pull back to around 1850, something like that. But then it's gone again. So this could probably be Monday. But when it goes, I'm not going to show you how high I can go yet. <laughs> I'm not going to show you how high I can go yet. But that's my prediction model. So I hope he has a bullish one. And I hope I'm right. If this thing pulls back to 1850, I don't give a fuck. They got to cover all them in the money options. And there's tons of them. And they going to have to cover them. How high 
do y'all think sundial will go? And Timothy, thank you for asking. Let me go over here real quick. We don't need the comparison chart, so I could turn this on. And now we can just look at sundial. Share my screen. Some of y'all be sundial hating too. I know you do. But look at fucking sundial. What? That's on a daily chart, people. <laughs> they already was knocking ass off. Let's see. Let me see it now. Okay. This is my trading view. I use trade. I use Weeble for my pre-market and I use trading view for everything else. But they had a dip from there and ran up 65%. So that was a pretty good fucking run. And then they had to pull back. And from the pullback, oh, that reminds me too. Another 75% up. That reminds me too. Um it's over here on AMC. I want to show y'all something. Oh, damn, damn. Look at this, okay? This is on the daily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight green days in a row, okay? We've had eight green days in a row with AMZ. So, I come out on here, nobody crying about the manipulation. Oh, it's been eight days. We've been in the green manipulation, manipulation. Let that motherfucker go eight days in the red. Oh, my God. The manipulation. But here it is. We're eight days in the green for the first time in a long time. And it is stair stepped up. So I am feeling good. It's 420 there. In, uh, there you go. It's 420. There you go. In fact, I need to make a, a lit uh, name. 420. Um, so my show will end at 420, my time. That's how long we go. Yeah, there's a fine line between the mainstream media and YouTube hype. Yeah, because you got to understand YouTube is a mainstream media now. So when they say mainstream media, we talking about us too, but they just bigger. If you turn on your TV, you see Fox, but if you turn on YouTube, you're going to see Trey Trades. So, I mean. There's a fine line between them. In fact, let me give old school his uh, credit there. Because he's one said it. Do they love censorship? Oh, my God. Half my videos don't get monetized. Because I'm smoking or drinking. I'm drinking coffee this morning. And I got to make another pot. Damn. Oh, well, shit, I ain't even went and like it. Let me go over here and see if. Mm. That's the pan fins. I leave the pan fin running. Till his show's over with so he can get credit for it. Oh, man. All right. We're sorry. <laughs> Damn, somebody looks tired.
All right, I like my own video. Greg. It's 20 enough for AMC by the end of the day to trigger the gamma, or do we need it to go higher? No. Listen, it doesn't matter. If it goes higher, that's even fucking more wonderful. But the gamma's are going to be triggered. If we could stay in 20 and 19 range, that means they gotta they gotta start hedging because they're not sure. So they'll have to hedge all the what's it, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. They gotta hedge for those. And it's going to push the price higher. So I think they're stuck. I think they're fucking stuck. If it stays in the money at 20, that's their fucking asses. They have to cover those. And everybody's watching. This is this is where air at the end of the finish line, everybody's focused with all the cameras ready to see who's about to cross the finish line. Everybody's like that. That I don't think they can pull shit off this time. If you're going to buy, you better buy. I, no, I ain't got a problem with the wolf pack. In fact, hold on a second. That'll be the next topic. Let's see. Wolf pack. The contest on my show. And the people that commented, I'm still holding. And each one of them won the, the prize. Over here, there was supposed to be three number one packages that I was giving away. And then I was supposed to give away 10 of the lower packages. Instead, I was drunk. I gave away two number threes. So there's four uh, VIP winners. And the rest are lower tier packages. Uh, six, I don't know what the hell happened to six. I can't find out who it was. So I'll probably give it away to somebody. But anyway, these people have won the prize. And as soon as Cam can get in touch with me, I'll be able to pay for their packages and they can become little wolf puppies. Now, is there any other questions? How much nicer can I be to the wolf pack? I just gave y'all 13 people. <laughs> Mexican silverback, you want it? Uh, I got enough. How the fuck can I get you to sign up to get it? I know what I'll do. I'll just add you to the list. Number six. Boom, Mexican silver back one. Uh, okay, Brenda email. Brenda's like our secretary slash researcher slash great fucking woman. She handles everything. I'm so busy and I know she's busy too, but she... We try to fucking figure out how we're going to get everything organized and keep things going in a nice fashion for everybody. For a town hall meeting that we're having, whether this thing rips or not, you're not going to sell. So don't worry about that. You should go to the town hall meeting. So there'll be a link in the description. Damn, I need to put that down there for y'all, huh? Oh, that's just hard to deal with when you, uh, let's see. I think there should be one here. I got it. I'm giving y'all the link. I can turn that off.
Dude, you don't want me to comment, you bitch. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I'm so fucking happy for Sundial. And my portfolio jumped. Oh, I said, oh, fuck yeah. And then AMC is going to back it up. Good God, I got to go through all this with YouTube. I don't forgot what the fuck I was doing. Oh. I got to give y'all a link to the town hall. Brenda would kick my ass if I didn't mention it. <laughs> I'm totally lost over here. Fuck that. I'm trying to get it to where. Anyway, I gave y'all a town hall link right there. <clears throat> Well, old school, you shouldn't have listened to that asshole. That was that was a dumb ass fucking suggestion, huh? It never goes above 19. It goes to 13 and 19 and 13 and 19. And the next day it goes to fucking 22. And everybody's sitting there holding it going, what the fuck? They're going to kill Teddy. If it dips again, I agree. Old uh, old school, I buy a hundred more shares. If this motherfucker dips again, because I know it's the last dip. There's gonna be one more dip. People are just debating on what it'd be. How many times did it hit 20 yesterday? On what chart is I mean what hour do you want the one hour chart, the daily chart? Man, that fucking we just now getting started at the breakout. People, I can see where this is going. All right, let me let me share my screen again. I think I can see where this is going. It's not the one. This is the one. Okay. Pass, pass, pass. One of these said path. You could follow the path. All right, fuck it, we'll just do it this way. Look at this. <laughs> First off, you look at this. I'm looking at this chart. This is the AMC on the daily. Okay. Watch this bar pattern that I'm seeing starting right here. You would see it. It looks like it's an M. This is funny. Watch this shit. Here's the first thing I see when I look at the chart. All right. There's AMC's price action. Watch when you turn it in a mirror. It was a W that went up but broke down. This is the pattern of a W breaking down, upside down. The pattern of a W. That ends up breaking down. And instead of breaking down, it breaks up when it's inverted. When the W is inverted and it's supposed to break down, it turns into a W and that's when it runs. But it's going to pull back somewhere around here. That's the first thing I see. Yeah. 
is breaking the W right now. Right here. See the W down, up, down, up. It's breaking the W right there, right now. Just how you look at it. It's not a crappy gold mine. It's not a crappy gold mine. Your neighbor's dog. Listen. We've dug up so much good information on that gold mine, you would not believe. In fact, I don't even, where's my phone? Make sure it wasn't written over my head. Okay. I have a position. I couldn't tell unless I looked to make sure. I have a position in that fucking gold mine. Let me tell you something. I'm fixing to buy some more. I got to look at my rules, see if I can get them to fit for tomorrow. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm wanting to get some more of that gold mine. Listen, the people that are involved in that, oh my God. And sometimes we just got to trust the process now. Watch this. Could it be just another chess move that a popcorn has moved? I mean, did he move? He did give us a rook tonight chess reference, and then this happens. So is this a chess move of his? And if so, who else is playing and so forth and so on? Because Ryan just buys 100,000 shares of GameStop. We buy a gold mine. Things are going on. And behind the scenes. And this is just another fucking chess move. And I'm telling you, with the people that are involved and what I'm hearing about the silver that's in that mine, not gold, silver. Good reports about gold, too, but silver's in there. They just got to get in there and get it out. Adam Marin says deal, and he and he jumps in. I mean, it's a very, very, very good deal. I'm buying some more if I can. If if everything lines up, Lux Algo says it's a buy. I'm buying more high cross tomorrow. If it's got to line up the RSI and all that other bullshit. What's going on here? Adam can't stop squeeze nor start it, my friend. Even that. That's right. He he's just a pawn in this motherfucker. In other words, if he knows gold mine is shorted by 40% and it's about to squeeze, wouldn't it be a good investment for you to hurry up and buy some? Well, that's what he's done. He's like, oh, shit, first off, it's 40% shorted. So we're going to buy 22% of that. And he's going to stop it from getting shorted. Not stop it from getting shorted, but you know what I mean. It's not going to be a worthless company anymore. He's jumping in and saving high crawl with 22%. But Citadel, but Citadel shit. Citadel owns 5% of Mudrick, which owns whatever percent. But I mean, it's such a minimal thing. Somebody needed some money and Citadel gave it to them. But it wasn't a lot. Their stake is so small. It's just the name scares people. They're not the big bad wolves anymore. <laughs> Man, I'm getting excited. I'm going to listen that gold mine stock. I swear to God. I know they don't have operations yet. And I know they're trying to figure out. I've been awake fucking. I can't tell you how many hours because I was watching Pantheon before this. 
but for every month that goes by they don't find it gold and silver the silver that's in that mine and when they get lucky they might hit a little gold but going after the silver that's in that mine every month that passes that they don't find it brings me one step closer to them finding it do you understand that for every month that they don't find the silver in that mine brings me one month closer that they're fixing to hit it because there's silver in that mine the people that's involved in that play convinces me they're not going to put their money in some dead shit these are some extremely influential mineralogists i guess you call them. people of the best caliber is getting involved in this mine there's something in that motherfucker you and i'm getting in now because it might take three months for them to get it the production of it out when it does it's over with billions and billions of dollars of silver that's my view and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, I own a fucking gold and silver mine. Tomorrow, I'm gonna own a little bit more. Bigfoot's in the mine. If if there was a clue that Bigfoot was in that mine, I Lou'd be around it. Lou'd be like, "Hey man, we're going down to the mine." Be looking for his parents. I think it will. What's up, J.A. Brian? We just kicking it. I was just kicking it about the gold mine. I've talked about how um, 14 people won a contest for the Wolf Pack. I'm waiting on Cam to get back in touch with me. Uh, I've talked about the town hall meeting. I put the link in the description, I believe. <laughs> y'all listen to Brenda. And if y'all have any questions concerning the town hall, she's kind of like the sexy Terry. I mean, uh, secretary. So ask her any questions. If you have any problems with the mail, I'm calling them tomorrow and I'm saying, hey, look, motherfuckers, Brenda's in charge of that. So Brenda, get on their ass and Brenda will get it straight. It'd be 400 shares would be enough for me. <laughs> I'm a cater to fucking donuts at the party. But I don't know how vodka, tequila, and donuts is going to work at the... Uh, New Orleans party. We go down to Bourbon Street and rent a whole fucking bar room for a night. Them huge bar rooms on Bourbon Street. Lou can come. They got all the fucking graveyards there that they do tours. So Lou and his crew could come down there and do the paranormal thing and walk through the haunted fucking uh, cemeteries. There's a lot of shit to do in New Orleans. Fuck Las Vegas, where I'm going to go in a casino and lose about thirty thousand dollars of the money i just won i'm gonna give it to them okay let's go to new orleans i can only get so drunk and spend so much money at that time You don't know what to make of the guy from New York? Does anybody? I mean, he's going to act like he hadn't suggested that everybody day trade fucking AMC. Or get out of AMC and get in another play. It's just lucky that the rest of them ran with it.
Bless your heart. Come to New Orleans. Man, they got Bourbon Street where we do Mardi Gras. Come on, man. Could y'all have a bigger party than fucking Mardi Gras in New Orleans on Bourbon Street? We'll have a fucking party, man, and I'll and I'll cater to donuts. I see you, Mexican silver back. I added you to the list already. What y'all want to talk about? Let's go see what AMC's doing. <laughs> I forget. We got some crazy stories about New Orleans. Man, you get out there on them balconies. You've seen the pictures and ain't on the shows. Them iron balconies and stuff that people get on and they they throw up beads to them and shit. Awesome place. But you get in, you party, you get out. <laughs> You just left Louisiana? Let's see. Hold on. Let me run down. Sundial went up to 93 cents. Sundial went up to 93 cents and it's pulled back. Sinister, what can I tell you about tomorrow? Make sure because I want to get on you. What can I say to be expected for AMC in the market tomorrow? Tomorrow, <laughs> the market's closed, technically. Three markets open right now. You want to know what's going to happen after the market? Uh... I was just looking at Sundial. It had a run up just now to 93. It's pulled back ever since. Okay. Uh, if you had the same thing with AMC, this motherfucker in the pre market could go up to like 22, 23 and pull back, back down. All right. That's why we say watch the pre market action. Uh, what to expect for tomorrow is hard, hard, hard to grasp because if you know and remember or either just finding out the transparency policy regulation that we were all commenting on they took it off it's no longer comments all right they are reviewing the comments and from the reviewing of the comments if everybody just said man good job well done They'll look at those comments and they won't have to revise anything. They'll go ahead and vote on it and then it becomes active. So all of this could happen tomorrow. Transparency could kick in like that. So with that being said, if this thing closes above 20 tomorrow, AMC closes above 20 tomorrow, they in trouble. So they got a lot of options to hedge for. And when you have to hedge for them, usually on Monday, sometimes on Tuesday, uh, when they hedge in for those options that they just lost money on, causes the price to go even higher. So that's what I expect. But the chart shows that there should be a dip coming up. But I don't think this is it. I think the dip comes after this last little rip. I think I think you're supposed to win. I think the computer lets us win and hit above 20. At least that's what I feel. Oh. 
I'm sore. I've been sitting in this fucking chair. Everybody's getting a new chair. Tony D talks about the chair catalyst. I ought to go buy me a new fucking chair to sit in that's more comfortable. If it don't, it all depends. If it don't hit 20. A Mexican silverback said he got the bud ice. What if we don't hit, what if we don't stay above 20? It doesn't matter. If it closes at 1916, they have to cover all the 19 and below. If it closes 1899, they have to cover all the 18s and below, not the 19s and up. So if we keep climbing higher and stay in the 20s, all those options under that have to be hedged for. Let me see if I can pull it up on the board. Sundown. Okay, I'm going to explain this to y'all. Forty six minutes. I'm just writing down when I'm doing it so I can time stamp it. But I'm going to show y'all Weeble. Okay. Right now, AMC sits at 1965. All right. Right here, there's 65,000, or excuse me, 15,562 options that are open. All right. They will have to cover this many options as long as it stays in the 20s if it drops to 19 then this disappears and they have to start covering here but as of right now they have to cover 15,000 4,600 8,600 4,100 4, all these options have to be hedged for if they are hedged for already and that usually comes on a Monday or Tuesday after you figure out who wins the battle who wins the battle at the 20 we do they'll have to buy the shares for 15,000 options shut up bitch out of my stomach 15,562 times 100, 100 shares to a contract. So just just in the 20s, they got to buy 1.5 million shares to cover in the 20s right now. So that'd be some max ass pain. But if they can push it down to somewhere, I think max pain, yeah, is way down here. If they can get it down to here, then they wouldn't have to cover but 158. Or oh, excuse me. 2,900, that's where Max Payne's at right now. And if that that's what they want, because then the, all these are out the money and they don't lose. Look at 18. So from 18 to 20, if it's anywhere between 18 and 20, man, get the fuck out of here. We just spanked that ass. Not yet he don't. He's, he's asleep. They can't play it no more. Remember when Uncle Fester said the transparency was enacted and it wasn't? I'm telling you, the transparency is enacted starting probably tomorrow. Now, he said it was wrong. I'm telling you, it's going to start probably tomorrow. And they won't have nowhere to hide. This is over with. Do you realize BlackRock? I've been doing some research and I was asking my buddy Pantheon, how many shares of AMC does BlackRock hold? Do y'all know the answer to that? Teddy Zane. 
Man, I'm putting together a fucking Teddy Zane video. I've been wanting to show everybody. I don't know if it'll work because it don't give me the Camtasia option. Live. No, see, it don't give me an option for the, to show you the Camtasia. Because if it did, I could show you the Teddy Zane video while I'm putting together. I wonder how can I play that fucking video? I don't know, play it. How do I play it? I have to upload it to fucking YouTube and I ain't ready to do that yet. Man, if I could share my screen and let y'all see that Teddy Zane video I'm putting together. Teddy's out of shares. <laughs> Did he have a point? Yeah, everybody should date. Now, listen. I heard what the man said, and to be completely honest, he said he's got an account with Weeble, which I do not have a problem with that. I have an account with Weeble that have AMC shares in it, and that he does not touch them. He did specify that. Then he goes on to say that in his other brokerage firm where he day trades, and I understand that because I have a TD Ameritrade strictly for my penny stock trades. So he has an account somewhere, E-Trade or wherever, Fidelity, and he tra day trades that portfolio. And if he feels AMC is a good day trade, then he adds that to his day trading portfolio. It is separate from his long-term portfolio, which is over here holding his AMC. So I understand y'all don't listen to just one thing and then turn it off. The man did specify and he's right because I have my AMC in many brokerages, but in TD Ameritrade, I trade penny stocks. Okay. Because they're really the only ones that I could find that lets you do it, but it's a total different uh thing but high cross mines could have came across as a penny stock and i missed it but i picked it back up over here but the point is over on my penny stock yes i can put high cross over there and i will day trade it as a penny stock but it's over here in my long-term folder too See, as long as you don't mention the phrase AMC, nobody gets upset. If you talk about something else, it's okay. Well, Brenda, I've been in this play for a while, and I, I just sold gimmick is played out. They, they've been playing that for a fucking year. At some point, there's always been a time where all of a sudden everybody's saying they're sold. I quit. I'm out. They've done that a couple of times. This is going to be one of them. People are not selling. Brenda, who are you calling baby? <laughs> yep. Yeah, why sell now? I mean, we're not giving financial advice here, but why sell now when the trend is broke? We just broke the downtrend and heading up. You're going to have a normal pullback. With every run up, you have a small pullback. 
So don't fear the pullback. Just like earlier, I said, don't fear the, the buy button disappearing. Don't fear the pullback. The pullback's where they're going to shake a lot of you some bitches out. Watching it run up, though, is exciting. I am looking at that uh, sundial. Man, I was like, holy shit. AMC's fixing to do that. And GME's fixing to do the same thing. See y'all later. You better hurry up and get a thousand shares in. They're about to not sell you anymore, this bullshit. Kramer? <laughs> Jim Kramer said, oh shit, let me hurry up and go sell then. If Jim Kramer said, oh, y'all sold, I need to go sell too. Congrats to the Sundial people. And when I say Sundial people, when I say Sundial people, I don't mean people like me who just have a position. I started out slow. Some of y'all have been holding Sundial a while waiting on this so congratulations anthony said brokers are going to cancel my good tell cancel with my sale orders for that number okay i'm not sure about what Pantheon meant by that. But reading it, the first thing that comes to mind is what Pantheon is saying is you could set it good till canceled, but they will turn that off. So you need to check several times during the day to make sure your good to cancel order is in. Understand? He's saying, and you say, well, that ain't right. It doesn't matter. It's the shit they're going to pull is what he's trying to warn y'all. Is when you set a good to cancel order, they can turn the switch off. So you need to check periodically when it starts running up and getting close to your number. Check periodically to make sure your good to cancel order is still in. If it's off, he's saying just put it back in. And keep checking periodically to make sure it's in until your number is hit. That's my explanation. But we'll try to remember to ask him the next time we're together and can talk. Teddy saying, okay, let's talk about this. In fact, I need to screenshot this. Okay, the reason I screenshotted that, the Lightning Gaming says, Teddy Zane saying AMC is going to drop 4% today. Okay. Teddy Zane said, first off, stop. Teddy Zane said, <laughs> Teddy Zane was convincing motherfuckers a couple of days ago, listen, it's the 4% rule. Oh, there it is, 4% rule. All right. 13, 19, 13, 19, 13, 19. So he's getting out, and he's going to day trade the 4% rule. He just told us that. Now, he was expecting it to go to 13. He's going to put $100,000. But instead, it rips. And I'm laughing my ass off, and I'm thinking, oh, Teddy, it just passed 19. In fact, hold on. Let me give me a sound bite here. <laughs> Teddy, it just passed 19. Now, where are we at? 59. Yeah, I can cut that out of this video. I'm going to put it in my Teddy Zane video. But how is Teddy Zane going to inform you that it's going to drop 4%? When he just got through telling you it wasn't going to pass 19. So now he's going to be psychic to tell us when it's going to drop. Motherfucker, we know it's going to drop. 
and the average should be four percent so you're not a fucking psychic you would have been psychic if you would have said put seat belts on we're going to 22. instead you told everybody they trade this motherfucker between 13 and 19. get out of here i'm not as nice as the panty man i was watching him and listening and he was talking to him. okay well here's the thing about teddy and teddy and i'm like man you had a whole lot more professional than me because i'm just gonna say motherfucker, you would have been something special if you would have said we're going to 22 but instead you told everybody they trade that did from 13 to 19 and they got out and now look at you so that's your morning show got 30 more minutes anything else uh, failures to deliver yeah, it's a different world people it's a different world you got to understand something now today all right friday a lot of things have happened people the transparency that lou was uh talking about for the third he was wrong but it ended comments and they can vote on it and it can be implemented starting today or monday so he was just a couple weeks off so the ftd problem is not going to be a fucking problem not right now More than likely a pullback's coming for Sundial. Yes, of course. A stock, you just can't keep going. I mean, it, they've had some that go, 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 go. But a majority of stocks have what's called a healthy pullback. It's letting people take profits. It's letting new people get in. And it gets ready for the next rip up. It's not always one quick-ass long rip. Although it does look pretty when it happens so anybody got any questions before we go it's four o'clock in the morning here <laughs> let's go see what amc is doing amc holding tight at 1966 it's when it's high in the pre-market 2023 very good amc man this is looking good when's the moon you don't hear the fucking engines lighting up <laughs> no babe there's a difference between being pulled back all right a pull back and being held back there's two different things there's a pullback which happens normally and there's a pullback where they pull and hold you back. That's what's happened to Sundial. Now, when it finally goes, some people are going to take profits. That's going to cause it to have a little down move. And then it starts the next up move. That's normal. A pull you back like they've done. It's over with, people. If we can close above 20, if that computer lets us close above 20, it's game over, people. You'll be you'll be at 50. 50 next week. Everybody says, oh, that's price. I say that all the time. You know, I just talk about something. Oh shit, I'm fixing to wake the monster up. Oh, you can't have none, it's chocolate. It done melted and then reformed and melted. You can't have one, it's chocolate. Oh. Y'all want me to give him a treat? What up, Fred? Brenda, I don't know. 
we got 156 people in here. I don't even know how many likes we got. Y'all want me to get up and give Boomer a treat? Not sure what you mean, James. They're always been the same, never changing them. If I get in the habit of changing them now, then during the squeeze, I'll be tempted to change them. I'm in the habit of that's what they are. And during the squeeze, that'll be what they are. Let me give him a treat real quick. I'm making them say hello. Uh -huh. You tell everybody hello first. Tell everybody hello. <laughs> Come here. That's it now, y'all. You better say bye because <laughs> he's gone. Once he gets that treat, he hauls ass with it. Sooner or later, somebody's going to take profits. Y'all know that. Come on. Can't just buy and hold. It's okay to take profits. Of course it is, people. How many times have you taken losses? Okay. So when that money starts going up, and I know what you have dreams of, but you start looking at the reality of your life, you'll look at that line a little bit different. You know, and you'll start having a more reasonable what's my exit strategy, what it should be. For example, if you're young, using the young people, for example, you've been to college and now you're stuck in fucking college debt for a long time. So if you can make enough money to pay off your student debt and take your mama to dinner, <laughs> you, you've accomplished something. If that's your goal, but your goal might not be there. Your goal may be to buy this house that's $260,000. Well, then you're going to have a different bracket system. But if that's what your goal is, I encourage you stick to it. That's not financial advice. That's just me being a friend. When I get ready to sell, I'm going to open my phone. It's going to say buy or sell. I'm going to say sell. It's going to say market or limit order. I'm going to say limit order. They're going to ask me how much and I'm going to hit the sell. I'm going to give it a few minutes, I'm maybe two, maybe two. If it don't go through, I'll cancel it. And I'll do it again until that limit order is fulfilled. I'm not just going to shut the motherfucker and leave it. I'm going to be sitting here waiting. <laughs> you can't go with market either. Because in a second, in one, in one split of a second, AMC could run up to 200 and drop back down to 75 in a split fucking second. So you can't just go with market order. People who think it's going to run up to 200 are talking about setting it at 200. So when it hits that song, it's just sold. And I'm down with you on the 5,000 and the 8,000. I'd love it to hit that. Am I counting on it? No. <clears throat> Am I expecting it? Yeah. So I'm saving some shares. <clears throat> and if Mexican Silverback, if there's all kinds of technical problems, it'll be the Russians' fault. They done hacked the fucking cyber system.
Well, J.A., if you bought a fucking island, all I need to buy is a boat. I got off easy. I just need to get a boat to your island. That's right, Brenda said, I don't trust them either, but what are you supposed to do? You're sitting at home or you're standing at work and you're wanting to sell your shit and there's a technical problem where you can't open this and that. What the fuck are you supposed to do? First off, you, I would be signed up for the town hall meeting because I would want answers. If there's any fuckery that goes on during this, you want to be there for when we have the town hall meeting to express that. So I know I'm not as, as articulate as the, the Pantheon, but it's very important to be there. So make sure you're signed up. And if you have any problems, Brenda, take care of it. He's trying to calculate that. Okay, I'll give a few more minutes. Anything anybody want to talk about? Anything I need to share with y'all? I was hoping Cam or uh, I don't know. I even know who Cam does. Cam have a second in command? Cam's in charge. Who's his second? Tell him reach out to me so I can get these names and pay for this stuff. They get these people signed up to the Wolf Pack. Timothy says, let's have a sundial talk. Timothy, I agree. We need to have a talk with sundial. And sundial, me and you fixing to have a talk. So with that, I got to go love on my man and have a talk with sundial. Oh, fuck, I ain't heard about a lawsuit on that. The wash rule? Y'all don't understand the wash rule? Fuck, Teddy was the one talking about the wash rule. You get up to 19, you sell. When it falls back down, you buy. You buy the dips. Sell it to rips. You buy the dips. Sell it to rips. Rinse and repeat. It's a washing cycle. That's dangerous because you don't know when this motherfucker, okay, I give you this. It could run up tomorrow to 25, all right? But then there'll be a sell-off back down to 20. You don't know in, in a squeeze like this if you'll be able to get back in. Yes, I believe Sundial continues to rip today. I think, well, I'm just going to say this. I'm looking at the part here. Yeah. Yeah, I could see Sundial going above a dollar today. That's my opinion. And I hold shares of it. And I'm always bullish. But I see it over a dollar today. And if it goes over a dollar, that would mean when Sundial tries to get to the dollar, AMC. It's either going to try to pull it down because the two computers are going to want to meet again. So it'll come down and AMC will come up and meet it. But AMC could pull up there to it. So we're looking at AMC could hold the 20 line so Sundial can run. And Sundial probably close over a dollar today. Yeah, I got to fuck. I can't go to sleep, but I'm fixing to kick these fucking shoes off. If y'all can believe that. I have a shirt on, pants on, and shoes on. Because I was expecting to have to walk somebody, but they didn't want to go. So I can kick my shoes off and talk to y'all later. Y'all be blessed. This is going to be a great day. I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Good night.